Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 10th of 2021, well, it is titled Firing Lasers to Tame the Sky. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the uh, telescopes that is part of the Paranel Observatory down in Chile. And what you see here are lasers streaking out of the telescope dome out into the sky. Now, why would they do something like this? Well, this is a method of being able to eliminate the interference caused by the Earth's atmosphere. One of the biggest problems for telescopes based on the ground is that our atmosphere distorts images that it, our atmosphere is turbulent and that makes the objects spread out the light gets spread out instead of being concentrated into tiny points. So it makes stars for us twinkle that they are jumping around a little bit. And that will blur out any images taken from the ground and per gives a great constraint on ground based telescopes. So this is one of the reasons we like to put telescopes up into space up above the Earth's atmosphere and avoid that turbulence. However, there are ways to minimize this and one way is by using these lasers. So the lasers shoot up into the sky and then excite atoms that will glow. So in this case, it excites sodium atoms left by meteors that have passed and it essentially makes artificial stars up in the sky. So we know that we know what those stars are like, we've made them, we know their properties. And when we detect their light through the telescope, we can then deform the shape of the telescope. So the telescope has a flexible mirror. And instead of having a nice, perfectly smooth surface, we can distort the shape of the surface to account for the atmosphere and essentially eliminate atmospheric effects. And while it may not get rid of absolutely everything, it can make a make it much better and give us t observations on the ground that are as good, if not better than those from like the Hubble Space Telescope out in space. And this uh, is good because it allows us to use this for much larger telescopes. The telescopes down here are many times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope. And they're also easier to service and repair if there are issues with them. So it is much more difficult to get up and service Hubble. In fact, there is no way to service Hubble anymore. And as pieces start to deteriorate on it, it simply becomes more and more limited. Whereas a telescope here can be have instrumentation constantly being replaced. So it allows for far better observations that we get of the sky. Now, if we also notice in the background here around it, we also notice three galaxies on the left hand side, just below the blow into the left of the dome, we see part of our Milky Way, our spiral galaxy is seen from within, just above the dome, almost straight up is the large Magellanic cloud. And to the right of that and a little bit below is the small Magellanic cloud. So two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So in addition to the telescope with the lasers that are used to help eliminate atmospheric effects, we can also see in the background three galaxies as well. So that was our picture of the day for February the 10th of 2021. It was titled Firing Lasers to Tame the Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.